All right, coach. Things have changed in minutes, man. The culture has changed. You know, great tournament here. How to really say that you're winning a t-shirt position. Just talk about what you've been able to do in a short period of time over here. Oh, uh, we're just trying to just trying to teach the kids how to play the game the right way. Um, play for each other. Play for the name on the front of the chip on the front of the jersey instead of back of the jersey. Um, it's a big, big adjustment for them. Um, I'm real meticulous, real detailed, and I'm real passionate about what I do. And so they're trying to still adjust, and we've gone through 20 games, and we're an average team right now, you know. A bunch, bunch of games we lost that we shouldn't have lost, and a few games we won and maybe, maybe we shouldn't have won. But I'm really, really excited about where, we, where we're going for. What I know the most is, man, y'all played so hard the whole game. There's no kind of let up. And that's not always easy to get buy in for a first year head coach. You know, how proud are you of these guys to say, hey, they might need, they might not be winning every game, but they are really buying in the C5. Definitely, definitely. Um, we don't have 6'10, 6'8 like some of these schools are blessed with. So we have to hang our head on defense. I preach defense is non negotiable. I don't care if you're 5, 6, or you're 6, 3. It's non-negotiable, so everybody, you're going to play according to how hard you play and, you know, how well you receive coaching and, you know, the effort that you give. And, again, it goes back to playing for each other. I think in the past, a lot of the kids were playing, I'm going to get mine, I'm going to get mine, I'm going to get mine, and that doesn't lead to being successful. And I think, you know, we're, we're, we're heading in the right direction. You know, in this tournament, we've eclipsed the, the win total from last year already, and we have 13 district games to go, and I told those kids, none of that matters. All we worry about is the 13 district games we have. What's a win for y'all this year? Is it reaching the postseason? Is it winning the district, going a couple of rounds? What's a win for y'all? I want to. I just want to get in the big dance. Right. When I get in the dance, everything you know, we get in the dance, and everybody's zero on zero. Uh, I won't be satisfied without the playoffs. I've never missed the playoffs as a player, as an assistant coach, as a head coach. I don't plan on doing it. Our district is really, really competitive. You have Westfield, who hasn't lost a district game in two years. We went blow for blow for him, with him for three and a half quarters, and Big Willie just was Big Willie, man. <laughs> he wore us down, and uh, Coach Goffney does a great job with those guys. Bunch of seniors, you know, and again, I have three freshmen, three sophomores, a few juniors, I have uh, three seniors on the team. So we, you know, we have the talent, and we have the work ethic in order to make the playoffs. So my goal is to win on Wednesday, and that's, 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 that's the next goal. That's the next game, and just win that game. Well, what I love about you is, you know, Southeast Texas, pound for pound in Texas, could be the best high school basketball there is. You come from there, it's a toughness about it. And it seems like you brought that toughness from Southeast Texas right to Harlan Dennis. I think, I think that's what some of the parents are not <laughs> trying, they don't, they don't really understand. Right. Where I'm from, it, we have community schools, mm -hmm. right? So I graduated from my Ozan under Coach Boutte, who's at Westbrook. 36 and 0 state champion, and we grew up together. Mm -hmm. Well, Nimitz is so spread. You have kids over here, kids over here, kids over there, and I'm trying to show them that community, that family. That's why you see on our shooting shirts it says family, because I'm all about family, that toughness, that grind. We used to wake up at six o'clock in the morning to practice, practice an athletic period, and practice after school. And we had, a, uh, you know, Kendrick Perkins. <laughs> as a sophomore, you know what I mean? And you know, we went 36 and 0. I know what it takes. And I told those kids, I said, I've been 14, 15, 16, 17. You've never been 38. I know what it takes. Mm -hmm. And they're starting to slowly buy in. Uh, earlier in the year, we get down like that, they would have hung their head. It to, you know, this last game, we got down and they fought. And we got it really, really, really close. Yeah. Made a few mistakes and, you know, but that's, that's a, learning, a learning experience. I'm real big on film make the kids watch film and teach them how to watch the right way. And uh, but yeah, that's Southeast Texas, man. I, I don't know. I, I tell the referees all the time, I'm not mad at you. I'm just loud. I'm from Beaumont. <laughs> <laughs> well, watch out. This is one of the hottest coaches in Houston. Watch out for Nimitz this year. They're going to sneak up on some people and have, a, I think, an extended run in the postseason. You can't really um, emulate what y'all do in practice because there's no way that – the JV is practicing as hard as you are as it relates to teams getting ready for y'all. Watch out for minutes. This is Matt. We'll see y'all later.